Johnny Valentine here with Gain Solar. The main reason of this video is to show you how I torque down these terminals. Um, these terminals inside these inverters, a lot of this power conditioning equipment, they're kind of, I don't say cheap, but you can see how it kind of moves when I turn it. And you don't want to over torque it because you could really cause yourself some problems if you were to break off one of these. So one thing I've done, I think it's a good practice if you're going to be installing this stuff once or any amount of times, get yourself an inch pounds torque screwdriver. This is my Sturdivant Richmont Cal 36 slash 4 Roto Torque. So I don't know if you can read that or not, but it's got inch pounds from two, I think it goes all the way to 36. And then if I pop this cap off, this is where I can adjust it. This little part flips up, I can go either way. So this is a American made, I got tape on it just because I like to know when I'm torquing something live, I don't really want to be touching the live stuff. So it can fit any any uh, any kind of hex bit. This is the only thing I don't like about it. This is just like a cheap little piece of plastic to hold in this bearing that holds onto the bit. So I don't have to worry if my DC power connections are right. Let's stick this little sucker in here and pops and I know I'm at the recommended inch pounds torque setting for this inverter and every single thing that we install has a tightening torque specification and that depends on what wire size you're using how tight you need to go it says for tightening torque and allowable wire size please see the installation guide and they're all gonna have your torque requirements. So right here on page 41, insert the equipment grounding conductor of the PV array into the grounding terminal in the DC disconnect and tighten the terminals using a flat bladed screwdriver to 15 inch pounds or 1.7 newton meters. So, and then the same thing on number 8 for the connection cable, 15 inch pounds. So that tells me that these DC connections need to be torqued to 15 inch pounds. And it's real important that you follow what they say so you're not voiding warranties and you don't have any kind of arc faults. Um, arc faults are, these suckers, see that one was pretty loose. So what I do is after I've made my connections, make sure I got my torque screwdriver set just right, come back, Torque all my connections. That one was a little loose. And then another thing I'll do is I come back, I wait like 30 minutes, half hour, I come back and torque it again because copper does something called cold, cold flow where it, it will, you'll tighten it down in the terminal and the, the copper is so malleable it'll move and, um, and, it, and sometimes the terminals can get loose so I'll always come back and do it again so this is my Sturdivant Richmont Cal 36 slash 4 this was recommended to me by the guys at uh, Midnight Solar it's been a pretty good one Makes me sleep easy now when everything's torqued down just right.